Hey everybody, Joe Cassaboni here, and one of the most frustrating aspects of WooCommerce is that you need either plugins or code to customize things that should seemingly be customizable out of the box. And I think the best example of this is the order received page. In fact, any page related to checkout is a little bit of a pain in the neck to customize. But the order received page is the first thing your customers experience right after they give you money. And I want mine to be good. You should want yours to be good as well. Add a little bit of personality, add a little bit of extra information in there, and it makes so much of a better experience for them. But like I just said, WooCommerce 2 official solutions are to either write code or buy a $49 a year plugin to customize the thank you page. Luckily, Cadence has our back. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to customize the thank you page without any code required. But before we get into that, I do want to ask you to subscribe to this channel. I put out a couple of videos a week. I do a live stream every week. And if you like the kind of content I'm putting out there, then you should subscribe. That's totally free. If you really, really like what I'm doing, you can sign up for the Build Something Club. As a matter of fact, this video is inspired by uh, the work I'm doing with WooCommerce to make the Build Something Club even better. And I realized that the thank you page or the order received page was terrible. So you can sign up for the build something club at just five bucks a month or 50 bucks a year. That's two months free over at build something.club. Okay. Now let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so I have set up a little pen shop here. If you followed me online for a long time, you will know I love fountain pens. And so uh, this is a simple WooCommerce site. I'm using one of the Cadence site templates, and I've got four products here. Uh, these are all from my personal collection prices made up. Uh, so if we click Add to Cart for one of these, uh, we can then visit the cart, we can see we have uh, two pens in the cart. We'll click proceed to checkout. I have a simple checkout page here. I'm accepting checks only because that makes it a lot easier to test this sort of thing. So we'll fill in this information here. And with that information, we can click place order. And this is the standard checkout page. Thank you, your order has been received. Pretty straightforward stuff here. Now, again, this is a simple pen shop. Maybe this is a good enough uh, checkout page or thank you page, but I want, again, I wanna add a little bit more personality. On my own site, I want to give the user as much information as possible for how to access their account before they have to go to their email. So I sell online courses. If they want to start taking the course as soon as they purchase, I want information there for them to do that. So let's go ahead and see how we can use Cadence to modify this page with no code required. So the first thing I'm going to do, I already have most of this site set up with all of the plugins that we need. I am using the Cadence theme along with the Cadence Blocks extensions, Cadence Pro, and the Cadence Starter templates. Everything except the Pro extensions are free, and the Pro extension is what we're going to need to customize this page, I believe. So we can go to appearance cadence and then there's a few things that we can add here one is the woocommerce add-ons and then one is hooked elements so hooked elements allows us to add various pieces of content anywhere in our wordpress site not just woocommerce though woocommerce is included 
So WooCommerce add-ons, I just like to include that for the extra customization. But the main star here is the hooked elements. Once we do that and we go back to appearance, we'll see elements show up under cadence. So we'll click that. We have no elements right now, so I will click add new. That will bring us to the block editor. And the first thing that we need to do is tell cadence the type of element we want default fixed or code code is great if you want to add google analytics or some other tracking script or pixel um, a convert kit code or anything like that that's what code is for i'm going to choose defaults this is the first time i've opened the block editor so we get the welcome screen and i am going to include thank you message so first, let's go ahead and build this out. Uh, there are a few things I want to add here. One is a, a GIF to show how excited I am. So we'll go ahead and grab that first. I really like the Thor Yes GIF. I use it a lot. So I'm going to take this and download it to my computer. I'm actually going to just drag it over to the side. I, I use an app called Yoink that creates a little sidebar tray here for me to access. And then we'll go back to the WordPress editor and I'll just drop that GIF right into the block editor and we'll center this. And then I'm going to add some text here. Okay, so with our message typed out, we'll also center this. And we'll make it a little bit bigger so it stands out. So we'll save this and then that is the content that we're adding. If we click on the, the element is just your standard information. But if we click on the element settings icon here in the top right, we can choose the placement and there are a ton of options to choose from before or after the site wrapper before and after the header, or we can replace the header. We have a bunch of content wrappers, hero sections. These are all points in the cadence theme where we can insert content. And if we scroll down, uh, I just want to highlight actually really quick inside the content, like after the third paragraph or after the fourth paragraph, Super cool. Like if you want to add an opt-in, for example, after the fourth paragraph of every blog post, you can do that here with the element settings. But we are looking for the WooCommerce settings. So if we keep scrolling, we hit WooCommerce content, WooCommerce product, WooCommerce archive, WooCommerce account. We're getting closer. If we know what we're looking for, we can also type it in here. But I just want to show you all of the options. Uh, WooCommerce cart, WooCommerce side cart, WooCommerce checkout, and then we have the order received. So we can place this before order received or after order received. I'm going to do before order received content. So we'll place it there. Display settings show on. Again, w this is only for the order received content, but just to make sure it shows up, we'll set into, we'll set this to entire site and we'll set visible to all users. Just again, to make sure it actually shows up because I was getting some inconsistent uh, results when I was testing this. So that's it. We'll click publish. The first thing we want to make sure is that this doesn't just show up everywhere on our site. So I'll click view element to take us out to the front end. We can see it's just a standard, uh, standard content. Now, if I click to the home page, it's not just randomly showing up here. If we click through to one of the products, it's not randomly showing up here either. So we'll add this to the cart. Once we do that, we can view our cart. We'll click proceed to checkout again. So far, so good. Nothing showing up here. We have my previous address from before. 
Leave a comment if you recognize this reference. One, two, three, Yemen Road, Yemen. Bonus points if you do. Okay, so the main thing that we should see here is when I click place order, we should see the Thor GIF and then the message that I typed in. I'll click place order. And here we go. We've got the GIF. Hey, Joe here. I just wanted to say thank you so much for your order, some information, and then the order below. So again, you can take this to whatever level you want. It's super easy to do thanks to the cadence elements, which is a pro add on. So uh, I know that this is, this does cost a little bit of money, but between just this being able to customize your WooCommerce site without needing to touch code or without having to buy a bunch of different plugins. I think it's totally, totally worth it. I'm a big fan of cadence. I'm using it on basically all of my sites, including creator courses, which is how I manage all of my memberships. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know, are you using Cadence or do you plan to after watching this video? Leave a message in the comments. Uh, subscribe to this channel. If you liked it, be sure to click the thumbs up button down below. And uh, again, subscribe to this channel for more great content. And until next time, get out there and build something.